Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Christ here, 200. Now, this is my video on how to better use mturk.com, Amazon's Mechanical Turk. Now, if you're not sure what mturk is, I did make a previous video explaining you how to use it, um, a little tutorial on it. Now, this video is just gonna be tips on, on how to better use this site. Now, tip number one, my tip is to download this extension the link to this web page is going to be on the bottom of this video, of course. Right on the site, it explains to you what this extension does. It lets you report and avoid shady employers. Now, I have come across some shady employers in the time I've been using mTurk. Now, this extension, what it does, it actually it adds like this little arrow, and it lets you see like the ratings that people have given this employer right here. People, of course, people that have done the job for them. Now. As soon as you see green, you should be you should be fine. You should know that these people are legit. What you should look out for is something like this. When it's all red, that usually means that these people aren't legit. So this will help you weave through and avoid shady employers. Now, tip number two, um, I would suggest to you guys, as soon as you find a reliable employer, keep doing their jobs. Now, the reason I say that is, of course, because you already got paid from them once, so you already know that they're legitimate. And employers on mTurk tend to put the same type of job continuously. Now, since you already know what you're doing, so your work is just gonna become easier and faster to do. Um, for example, right here, um, today I actually did 17 hits, and I got 85 cents for it. And you might think, oh wow, he spent a good three hours doing the same hit over and over and only got 85 cents for it. Honestly, the maximum amount of time that I spent on those 17 hits were maybe two minutes. Okay, so on to tip number three, which is similar to tip number one, is don't do hits that seem too good to be true. There's some hits on MTurk sometimes that are paying you $30 just to visit a web page. So usually those sites are fake. Also, there are type of hits that do pay you, but it's just too much hassle for for that payment so just look out for that and tip number four would be to do qualifications now what are qualifications these are tests that enable you to do other hits now these are all of my qualifications as you can see right here um, I'm not able to click view on hit and the reason for that is because I'm not qualified for this hit I actually have to take a qualification test now so these tests are usually simple if you know what you're doing, of course, you're going to pass the test and all of these hits will be available for you. My last and final tip, tip number five, is try not to get your hits rejected. The best way of doing that, of course, is by doing your best at the hit and not just clicking on random things and just avoiding not reading the directions. Now, out of 1,960 hits that I've done, only 26 have been rejected. Now, of course, employers won't want to hire you if you have a high rejected rate. So it's always a good thing to have a low rejection rate. So again, those are my tips on Amazon's Mechanical Turk. Hope that helped. And rate, comment, subscribe.